interested. That's what it's coming in. <coughs> so it turns out I'm not dead, and I am still making YouTube videos. Today, I want to talk about this A plus certification. Yeah, I got it. And it's not Photoshop, I just copied it. It's not, it's not an actual piece. Of yeah, I just copied it off. Uh, it's, it's real, I'm actually certified. So to start it off, let's talk a little bit about the exam itself. Um, to, my, to knowledge that I have about tech and hardware and networking, it wasn't that hard. It was, it was a little tricky on some questions because of the way that they word them. They really want to confuse you and pick, get you to pick the wrong answer. But if you can memorize uh, a lot of the stuff, this test is pretty much based off of memory. Uh, but like memory that you should pretty much know if you're going into IT. So I took 901 and 902. Uh, so that started in uh, December of 2015 and it's going until July of 2019, so this upcoming year, um, because the 1001 and 1002 uh, is coming out in a couple days as of posting this video. It's January 1st I'm uploading this video, so in 15 days, January 15th is when the new exam's coming out for CompTIA A+. So if you're interested, that's when it's coming out if you want to take that test. But looking at the specifications of the test, that looks like it's going to be a little more tricky than the 901 and the 902. So let's get into the 901 and 902 specifications from my testing experience. So on these exams, you have a maximum of 90 questions being asked, ranges. Uh, I believe I saw the lowest is 80, 85. Uh, that's the lowest I've seen um, from my tests and my friends' tests. Um, I had 88 and I forgot which one 902 had, but I had 88 on my 901. So you can expect the range of questions. You still get that 90 minutes. It's just a different amount of questions. So in order to pass the 901, you need 675 points. And for the 902, you need 700 flat, exactly 700 points to pass uh, and to get your certification and be certified as a CompTIA A+. Alright, so let's start the 901. The 901, I had a bunch of networking and hardware, um, data transferring cables. Um, that was pretty important, like the connectors of the cables and the speeds of the cables. Uh, network encryption was a big one. Uh, just a lot of network security type questions, but not really security, but like network, uh, like encryption, um, small businesses, home networks, uh, your mobile computers like laptops, uh, tablets, stuff like that. Uh, different types of networks like local, wide, metro area networks. Um, I had one question uh, about all of those uh, and um, a couple questions on LAN networks. Uh, you're also going to want to know a lot of some hardware specific uh, stuff. Not like, like CPU mostly. It's not like any of those uh, nasty like m tiny things it's just gonna be like the major components like CPU RAM your hard drive uh, and some like printers for your attachments but you're gonna want to know troubleshooting your printers and your hard drives I had a lot of hard drive questions about like troubleshooting them and how to encrypt those hard drives if they're failing or how to set up a hard drive so that was my 901 it was mostly just hardware networking, networking, hardware, troubleshooting, as well as mobile devices. My 902 was a little more trickier since there's a lot more networking questions on the 902 for me. Network security was a huge one, uh, like encryption like WAP, WAP2, AES, that stuff, that's pretty important for you to know. Um, your hardware security, that was pretty easy, uh, like your Kingston lock, uh, locking profiles specific uh, like software security like privileges and stuff like that it was most more like hardware uh, it was mostly like security based for my 902 it was like network security software security and some hardware security there are some office server questions as well as mobile security again this I had a lot of security questions and networking questions on 902 um, file permissions, that's pretty important, um, shared file permissions on Windows computers, um, like viruses and ha like different types of hacks were pretty important to know. 
um, you want to know how to uh, teach uh, your, your employees or how to prevent it, how to prevent an attack uh, by either hardware uh, infected viruses, by USB or network, email, phishing, uh, scamming, whaling, all that fun stuff that we all love when, ha when it happens. There were some Linux commands, there wasn't that many Linux commands, but uh, you should know a couple of them. Uh, for macOS and Linux, they're pretty much very similar since macOS is based off of a Linux operating system. It is a Linux operating system, so it's just Windows and Linux commands that you really have to learn. Don't even bother learning Linux and macOS, because you get, you just, I don't think I've seen a macOS terminal question at all. It was mostly just like command lines for Windows and your terminal for Linux. Uh, like your sudo, um, how to change your like, permissions, how to change yourself to an admin, change user in command line, delete, change files. Uh, just like com basic command line stuff that you should know um, that's on the test as well. Uh, a lot of customer support, 902 is focused a lot on customer support as well as security and networking. They're, they brought back some 901 questions, uh, not much, really, like very little, like maybe five to ten questions from the 901 exam on my test. So again, types of hacks are pretty important for you to know uh, on the 902 because it's based on security, uh, some network hacks as well, viruses. Um, you also want to know locations for troubleshooting uh, on your Windows computers, like advanced computer, uninstall slash repair, uh, and all that, like stuff to like fix software issues inside of Windows, where to find that, where to actually locate the setting to toggle inside of Windows, either 7, XP, Vista, uh, 8.1, 10, 10 was, I think there was a Windows 10 question. I also had some like more modern uh, test questions to like SSDs. So like there was a nine terabyte SSD. I don't know where they got that from because it was a question about most economical. Uh, the guy has a nine terabyte SSD, but something's wrong or something. It was something similar like that. But like, I don't know where in the world you find nine terabytes of an SSD for cheap. Um, but yeah, that was an option. Um, yeah, CompTIA must have a very high standard for low budget. Uh, some storage, um, that's back to hardware, like uh, hardware and software, uh, simple dynamic partitions and stuff like that. Just like how uh, create your hard drive to the most functional, uh, to be most functional for what you need it to be, as well as some port numbers are pretty important. So like, what port number affects what action. So if you disable or activate a port number, what's gonna happen if you disable a POP3, which is a 110 port number, uh, what's gonna happen? What's, uh, if you can't receive emails, uh, what port number did you disable? And it gives you a list. So the test is multiple choice. I just went over some quick bullet points. I have to keep looking. I don't know if you, you probably did notice when I was looking down here, uh, cause that's where I have all my bullet points uh, from what I have because it, it's a pretty long test two 90 minute tests You know, I kind of drain a lot of that out But I took the test and right after I got in my notebook and started no jotting down these notes of what I remember off the test It's a multiple choice test with a couple labs. I think it's only two Labs on the 901 and I think it's three labs on the 902 uh, At least that's what my configuration was um, 90 questions, 675 for 901, 700 for 902. Um, the price for this at the moment is $219, but that's without any discounts. Since I'm a junior in high school, I had a school, uh, educational discount, so it was only half the price. Um, so if you have anyone that's either in college, uh, high school, or if you have anyone in the education space that could provide you an email or something to get you that discount, it's well worth uh, asking, um, maybe like give them a couple dollars because half the price of 219 saves you a big buttload of money on a certification because it's just a piece of paper. But it does help you a lot in the future if you do get this certification because of all the job opportunities and it is industry standard 
industry standard. Well, it's well known in the industry, IT industry, uh, of what is CompTIA A+. So if you want to get a leg up to the average uh, average tech support Joe, uh, if you have the IT, A+, A+ plus, it can open door, more doors for you, recruiters. If you're on LinkedIn, they like they look for this. My friends have been getting job offers for getting this certification. Uh, it's a big deal in the IT space. Um, so you want to take this test seriously. Um, the way that I studied for it, I had all... For the way we had it for my school is we had the whole school year to prepare for it. Um, but me and my friend really didn't want to take the whole school year. So at the end of the semester, which was ended like last week? Well, before Christmas. No, like this video is going January 1st. So before Christmas, so two weeks ago, uh, I took both tests within a week. I took a test on Friday, and then the following Thursday, I took t uh, 902. So 901 was on Friday. I scheduled it on Friday as well as 902 on Thursday for the following week. Uh, I just didn't want to take too long. I just wanted to get this done and over with because I want to get other certifications while I still have time to and I don't have to pursue something full time um, to be able to make money and make a living in this economy. Yeah, so this test you can study for it. Um, it took me two weeks to prepare for the 901. That's because I was just scared. I wasn't, I didn't know hands on what I was getting into. Uh, but for the 902, just two or three days I took studying. The rest was memory from my experience in my 17 years of life. You know, you do pick up on a lot of these things from experience. So if you have experience in the IT field, you'll definitely be able to pass this for just a couple weeks of studying. You don't need months, you don't need years. Take the test as soon as possible because the 901, from looking at what the test has, seems to be a little bit easier than 1001 and 1002. Uh, but no one's really gonna be looking which version of the test as long as you have this piece of paper certification. Because nowhere here does it say which test you took. It just says that you took the test and passed the test and became A plus certified. So try to get that discount. There's many, I believe there's many different discounts other than education. Uh, you can have your employers pay if you're already in the IT field um, to get that experience. Getting this test is uh, it's not mandatory. You can live without it, but it does help you out a lot. and. It lets you know exactly what you should be ready for if you're going into IT. So this is my experience with the CompTIA A Plus certification 901, 902. I hope this video helped you uh, know exactly what's on my test at least and a little bit more about the I, um, CompTIA A Plus test itself. If you're taking this, you want to take it before July 31st, 2019, this year. Um, that's because the, the 1001 and 1002 have been released January 15th, so you don't have much time. You have that six month window to get that 901, 902 before it expires, and then you have to take the 1001, 1002 if you want to take the A plus certification. So, good luck if you're taking it. Hope you guys had a great new year. I wish you guys the best luck in taking the A plus certification. Good luck and goodbye. See you guys.